You never really think of all that goes into the delicious food and drink we consume. Here are some amazing machines that will show you just a few of the steps it takes to get your food to your table. What you see here is a machine that's entirely dedicated to conveyor belt for further processing. Here, you're seeing huge amounts of Parmesan cheese being made. Parmesan is an Italian hard granular cheese that is produced from unpasteurized cow's milk and is aged 12 to 36 months. Over three and a half million wheels of Parmesan cheese are produced each year. That's a lot of cheese. Baked goods come in a variety of tastes, sizes, and shapes. Many different types of machines are made in order to meet the needs of the baker. Here we see a machine that takes the work out of cutting mass amounts of cookies with excellent precision. We see this machine not only filling the bread pan with the mixed dough, but also laying down just the right amount of seeds on top of the bread before going into the oven. Here the dough is pre-proportioned and fed into the machine. A forming insert creates the shape. Cutting can either be performed by a manually operated blade or a wire cutter. Many of these machines can easily be customized to fit the job needed, simply by changing the molding parts thanks to plug and play systems. In order to keep up with the demands of a fast growing population, machines will need to continue to be fine tuned to meet our needs. There are thousands of different types of baked goods, and so these machines must fully be customizable to meet the needs of the baker. Some bakers still prefer to do some processes the good old fashioned way, by hand. Scoring the top of the bread helps control the direction in which the bread will expand during baking. This bread is being loaded into a mass oven. And out comes the delicious final product. You can almost smell that bread. Here we are going to see a unique way a delicious treat is made. After the batter is mixed, it is loaded into a trough. Next, a long spinning tube is rolled into the mix and evenly coated. The tube is put into an oven and is rotated as it's being baked. The process is repeated several times, ensuring each layer is baked thoroughly.
After the baking is complete, each cake is cut to size. You can see how each layer was baked separately. Now the crispy pastry is dipped into sweet chocolate. and then set on racks to allow for drying. Now they're ready for packaging and then sent to your local bakery. Not everyone needs a huge industrial machine, but something smaller and more versatile. This is used for coring pineapples. Next, the inside of the pineapple is loaded into a machine for slicing. Now time for the dicing the slices to just the right size. If you have children, then I'm sure you've seen them watching countless hours of chocolate eggs being opened. Here you can see how the chocolate is loaded into the egg mold and evenly distributed using this machine. Now each egg is inspected for flaws. 